This video is going to show you how to use the shell tool. If you are going to use it, you need to have something in 3D that's ready to go. And uh, it's actually really easy to use. Click on shell up here. And then uh, you can kind of see the outline of where it's shelling this inside. So if I were to just put a thickness in here right now, let's uh, make it a little bit thinner, 0.01, let's say. Um, you'll notice that it, it, um, if you zoom up, you can see that it is shelled to the 0.01. However, if I hit OK right now, um, a common error is for people to uh, complete the shell command. Um, without removing one of the surfaces and if that's what you're trying to do that's cool but usually you want to have an opening and so this is actually shelled but you just can't see inside of it because uh, it um, I didn't remove a surface so I can either redo it or I can go in and edit feature and uh, after the fact take off remove one of the faces so if I hit remove face and I click on this and then hit OK um, it'll um, take out that face and I can now see the edges of where it shelled. Um, if these work planes are annoying you and you don't want to see them, you can just uh, turn off the visibility for your work planes and uh, that might just make things look a little bit tidier. Another way to do that is to go into the view ribbon, hit object visibility and uh, turn off the all the work features. Um, that is how you shall.